The Trinidad Tucker Darts Review begins right now. Okay guys, it is darts review time. We got a great video for you today. Really excited about this one. And I think a few of you out there are probably gonna recognize these darts already. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be taking a close up look and reviewing the Trinidad Tucker steel tip darts. Now, where some of you might recognize these already, I did that review, I think it was like two or three weeks ago now. But yeah, I did that review. And if you haven't seen it already, check it out. But it was the Amazon of Japan unboxing video. Now, in that video, I showed that I bought three sets of these things. They had a three set minimum at the time. However, I didn't mind ordering three sets because look at my order form. I paid, ready for this, 4,747 yen, which equates to a little less than 32 US dollars for a set of Trinidad darts. Amazing deal there. And if you're asking, well, how, did, how good of a deal is that? Have a look at this currently, right now, at AZ Darts, these darts, these exact set of darts are selling for $97 with free shipping. So basically, if you look at it this way, I bought three sets for the price that they charge for one set of darts. So yeah, it just goes to show you, you know, take your time, look around, be patient, look at all the different Amazons throughout the world. As long as they ship to you, you can sometimes find some incredible deals like I did here. Now, speaking of incredible deals, just because they're the same company, recently, on Amazon USA, I scored a whole boatload of Condor Axe flights for eight and nine dollars with free shipping. They shipped from Japan, but um, yeah, amazing deal once again. So just take the time, look around. There are some incredible deals to be had out there. So with that being said, let's hop right into it, guys. Again, awesome set of darts here, and I can't believe I paid a little bit less than $32 for them. So it should be a good video. Unfortunately, oh, I gotta, I gotta mention this. Unfortunately, they're out of stock right now. Hopefully they're gonna be back in stock soon and hopefully they're gonna be at the same price that I paid. Time will tell, but hey, let's get into it. Trinidad Tucker, here we go. Alrighty guys, we have the Trinidad Tucker Steel. We have some compact packaging here, which I quite like. Now on the front here, the stats and dimensions, there's a slight discrepancy with the length, which I'll show you in the next clip with the stats and dimensions, but otherwise spot on perfect. But yeah, there's the packaging. On the inside, we have this foam insert, obviously a complete set of darts. You know what? There was a nice, a really nice square Trinidad point protector. I lost it. I have no idea where it went. I looked around, but anyway, I couldn't find it. Kind of bugs me, but you guys came to see these darts and um, that's a good looking set, right? Got the Trinidad logo right in the middle. All sorts of different grips. We have like multi-rings in the front, multi-rings here. We've got some wide bands. We've got these multi-rings in the back with, I'll get a closer look, with little dots milled into them. Tiny little scallop on the back with the, you see that, the micro multi-rings. What else we got? Silver point up front. Kind of a big lip right there. Not a fan of that. And on the back end, we've got these polycarbonate stems. These are a uh, intermediate, I would guess, 40.5 millimeters, not including the threads. And on the back end, we have these really large Trinidad standard size flights. But yeah, there's the darts. What do you say we get a little closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Okay, guys, time for some rotating stats and dimensions and great looking set of darts here. Kind of fancy, but at the same time, also kind of basic. Best of both worlds, right? Well, we're gonna start with the points like we always do. They come with a set of generic silver points and they stick out of the barrel 27 millimeters in total. As I say in other videos, I would highly recommend you repoint them as these darts have quite a bit of a lip where the point meets the barrel. So yeah, highly recommend you repoint them. But as far as the barrels go, 90% tungsten. The barrel length, that was advertised as 52 millimeters. I double and triple checked. I got 52.1 millimeters long. Now the barrel width with these being a, well, somewhat straight barrel dart, the widest point, 6.8 millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem and checked out the drill depth and they're actually drilled out kind of deep in the back end at 17.7 millimeters deep. As far as the match weight goes, these are advertised as 23.5 grams, which yeah, you don't really see that half a gram there that often, but yeah, match weight pretty much spot on here. The lightest barrel, 23.55, the next barrel, 23.56, and finally that third barrel, 
23.59. So yeah, the weight, only four one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. So that's an excellent match weight. What do you say we go into the next clip and I'll tell you about the grip. Okay, let me do my best to describe the grip here on this barrel for you. And you guys are looking at the screen right now. I'm looking through the tiny little camera lens. I don't really see anything out of the ordinary, do you? I mean, it's just your fairly typical barrel, bunch of milling and bunch of multi rings on there. However, I want you to direct your attention right in front of this Trinidad logo. You're going to see this one single little multi ring. That is the most grippy part of the barrel. If you run your fingers up and down the barrel, it definitely catches right there. So yeah, that's pretty grippy right there. Otherwise, I would say the rest of the barrel, fairly mild grip, maybe a grip level 2.8 on a scale of one to five. But yeah, it just catches right there in that one single little multi-ring. Now I would say that this barrel is probably intended to be gripped right through here with these multi-rings. A little closer look, you can see all the dots milled into it. Now on the back end, we have this tiny little scallop. I'm not sure what that would be for. I mean, even if you're an extreme rear gripper, maybe it's just a fingertip placement. We've got the micro multi-rings in there. Not that grippy though, you barely feel those. Now, looking at the entire barrel, my only complaint, check this out, look at the front. That right there is a massive lip. I mean, we can fix it, but I'm not even sure if a Trident will completely get rid of the lip. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, I guess it does. I mean, there's a little overhang, but yeah, that's one of the bigger lips I've ever seen. I'm not sure what a specialty point would do. I, I assume it would correct the lip probably 95%, but yeah, monster lip on the front. So before we get these things on the board, I'm not sure if many of you know this, but Trinidad and Condor, same company. So we are going to rock the Condors for the throwing part of the video. We've got a medium length with the standard size flight, the larger of the two. So yeah, that's how we're going to get these on the board and throw them and they should fly pretty good. So let's see how this goes. Okay, guys, you ready for this? We're going to have some fun tonight. I think a lot of you guys used to enjoy this in the past. We're going to go back to checkout. So there they are. There's my five turns, 41 through 81. And let's admit, I could use as much practice as possible. I can throw okay in spurts. But where my inconsistencies come out at the moment is when I'm in an actual match. I can throw like a superhero, and then on the next leg, I can't hit a thing. So, yeah, I'll take as much practice as I can get on the doubles. 41 through 60, uh, 41 through 81. The darts feel amazing, though. And you know what? I got to add this. I just noticed it in warm-ups. They sound like a quality set of darts. Now, I'm not going to mention any company's names. You can probably guess who I'm thinking about. However, you ever open up a set of darts, you take them out of the package, they feel hollow, they feel cheap. Not the case here, just a real quality set of darts from Trinidad, as we would expect, right? So yeah, five turns, 41 through, why I say 60 ones? 41 through 81. Now here's the deal, for some of these checkouts, specifically the first one, I think nine double sixteen probably the better option. It breaks down better, right? However, my camera is right here on a tripod, kind of in the way on the left-hand side of the board. So for these five checkouts, I'm going to favor tops. Just kind of have to. I just don't want to hit my camera. So 41 tops, or one for tops, where I do think 916, better option. I guess it really doesn't matter, but hey, we'll take a green 41. A little practice with the third dart in the bullseye. Mm. All right, we're starting off good. Hopefully I'm gonna get two. I'd like to see two green checkouts up there, but again, I don't promise too much tonight. So listen up, I gotta rant a little bit here. Where I said 41, it really doesn't matter which way you go, kind of personal preference. 51, it does matter. Now, I think we can all agree on this, a recreational dart player, we're gonna miss by a wider area, correct? What happens when you're under pressure in a match, the adrenaline flowing through your body, you're gonna to tend to throw high. When you're nervous, you got that adrenaline, you're gonna throw high. Those same recreational dart players tend to throw at the 19 for double 16. Now what happens? You throw high, you hit a trouble 19. You bust your turn. You could lose the leg, you could lose the match. Never risk busting your shot under pressure. So I can't stress that enough guys, in the past, I've busted my turn so many times. I just I don't even want to mention it. 
and learn from my mistakes. So again, don't risk busting your turn when you don't have to. So 51, you want to go 11 for tops. There's the important dart. Don't miss the big number. And hey, we're two for two. Again, at the bullseye. So yeah, you know what? Same goes for 50. Don't throw at the 18s. Again, under pressure only. 52. Don't throw at the 20s. More times than often. I mean, how many times does that happen to all of us? Bust our turn. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Especially when you don't have to. Well, hey, I met my, my goal anyway. It's a lot of pressure making videos sometimes, guys. I could miss all five turns. It is what it is, right? Try to do good for you guys. So, what do we have? 61. I feel pretty comfortable on the bullseyes. So I like to go hit the 25 to leave two darts at a double. There is the risk, though, of hitting the bullseye, but hey, you don't bust your turn, but it does make things quite a bit harder. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys do from 61. I like the bullseye because even if you miss, you're still left with a pretty good two dart out. Oh, what do we got there? So, 47. I'm going to have to go seven. Ooh, barely. That was in for tops. Oh, click the wire a little bit low. Yeah, usually for 61, I feel pretty comfortable that I'm going to hit a 25. Okay, again, 71. Couple options there. Trouble 13 to leave double 16. That's good, but again, my camera's in the way. So I'm going to go the other option. 17, trouble 17 to leave 20. Or that. Oh man, what? That one stuck to my fingers. Bull? Oh. Well, like I said, started good. Two green, two red. What's it gonna be for 81? Couple options there. Some people like to go 15s, trouble 15 to leave 36. Again, I'm not a big fan of 36. It doesn't break down well. Don't leave 36 if there's other options. So I think the majority of people, 81 remaining, go at the 19s. Trouble 19 to leave 24. There's the first one. Ah, yes. Nothing like a two darter. That always feels good, right? Hey, there's that 25 I could have used two turns ago. All right, hey, three for five. I'll take that any day of the week. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more checkouts. I, I don't mind doing them. It's just a little bit harder to make the video. A little bit more pressure for me, right? So we're going to roll into, got a nice little 180 for you. I'm going to give these a recommendation. We're out of here. I'm sweating. I think she's got the heat on out here. Enjoy the last one clip. Here we go. We had a left, right, right down the middle. And as always, great place to end the video. Hope you enjoyed the close up look and review of the Trinidad Tucker steel tip darts. Now, unfortunately, like I said, out of stock at the moment. I can't give you a link. However, let's hope they do come back in stock over at Amazon Japan and hopefully they're right around the same price. But have a look over there. There are some other Trinidad darts that are pretty good deals. So again, you just gotta be patient, keep an eye out and look for those deals out there. So now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're gonna work for a recreational dart player. The weight I think is perfect, kind of right there in the middle, not too light, not too heavy, 23 and a half grams. As far as the dimensions, yeah, I, you know what? I think this is gonna be a great dart for most people, however, when I give this recommendation, I'm gonna give them a recommendation on what I paid, 32 US dollars. So in that case, I would give these 9.4 out of 10. However, let's, uh, let's be honest here. If you gotta pay 
close to 100 US dollars, the score would completely change. In that case, I'd probably give it about a 2.5 out of 10. I mean, I just don't think these $100 darts, as nice as they are, I mean, you can get something very, very similar to this over at Darts Clearance for right around 25 bucks. So again, at the price I paid, heck of a deal. At the original price, $97, nah, I would forget about it. Maybe pick a different set. Well, anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thumbs up if you did. And until next time, we will see you on the next video. And my board is so firm, I'm not even going to try to stick them in. Later. Why should